what? It's a treat being here in the Monsanto Super Megadome <laughs> playing for 90,000 of my closest friends. <laughs> but to be honest with y'all, I'm a little homesick. That's because I'm just a simple man. You know, when I miss those simple times, Granny Smith apples growing on every tree limb, walking through a mud hole barefoot, sucking on a crawdad's head. <laughs> Those were the simple times. But back then, life made sense. <laughs> These days, times are moving so fast, I don't know what's going on. My little daughter, Trixie May, she's only six years old. She came up to me the other day. She said, Daddy, why don't you try Google Glass? <laughs> I said, Google Glass, what's that? She was like, augmented reality. <laughs> I, I looked her right in the face and I said, back in the days we didn't have PCs, just leaves and dirt and rocks and trees and some horse bones and a gulch. That was, a, that was like a cool gizmo back in them good old days. Well, you know, I like hanging out with my grandpappy. My grandpappy, Orville Redenbacher. <laughs> Tell you what, he's where I get my honky tonk, badonka donk. <laughs> and the other day we were arm wrestling in the backyard and uh, talking about the good old days. And he looked at me and he said, You know, I remember the day polio vaccine was released. I said, Polio vaccine? What is this, Battlestar Galactica? <laughs> Like, what's the matter? Like, polio vaccine, you got a problem with it? And I said, I'm just a simple man. <laughs> and I guess I prefer a time when medicine was a lot more simple, you know? Or even before it was invented at all. Because back in the days when you had disease, snake oil seemed to put your mind at ease. And bloodletting, it solved every problem. Anesthesia was like, I hadn't even heard of it. Back in them good old days. <laughs> Well, the next day, I was out in the woods, I was looking for some truffles, and uh, I ran into a Maori tribesman, of all people, and uh, after a tense standoff, uh, we got to talking about the good old days, and he, he looked at me and he said, you know what was a cool idea? Hammurabi's Code. <laughs> I was like, Hammurabi's Code? What's that? And he was like, well, it was like government in ancient Babylon. Eye for an eye, tooth for tooth. <laughs> and I looked him right in his face. I said, Maori tribesman. <laughs> Just a simple man. <laughs> I said, I guess I... I, I long for a time, you know, kind of before government even existed. Because I said, back in the days, we didn't have no laws. You could bludgeon someone in the head if they were competing for resources. Those were the good old days. And he stopped me and he said, what simple times are we talking about? He said, I'm a pretty primitive guy, but that seems a little extreme. And I looked him in the eyes. I said, may worry tribes me. Yes, you know. So when I'm talking about simple times, I'm referring to the Golden Age, 1 million BC. Back then, we were all just a bunch of knuckle-dragging Neanderthals, running around, loincloths snapping in the breeze. I said, that's when country music really began. It didn't inspire my song. So this is a song off my newest album, dedicated to the troops, and it's about the discovery of fire. <laughs> Good old days! Good old days! 